Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Olga, and uh, I'm here uh, studying at Chalmers. Uh, I'm doing a master program in uh, uh, design and construction project management. Uh, Sandra, can you say a few words about yourself? Yeah, I'm Sandra. I'm coming from Colombia, and I'm here doing my master in electrical power engineer. I'm the last year in the final. Uh, and uh, I would like to know more about you, Peter. Could you please say something? Well, background. Right. My name is Pietro Hoglund, and I am uh, the business area manager for Infotil Test and Development uh, at Infotil, which is a consultancy company. And uh, my background, well, I am also from uh, Chalmers once upon a time. Uh, I did my Bachelor in Science of Computer Science oh. one for a long time ago. Okay. It feels like. Oh. Um, how long have you been working uh, in the industry and uh, is it common that you work with the foreigners who are living in Sweden? I've been in the industry for 15 years, give or take. Uh, and yes, it is very common uh, to work with foreigners. Uh, both foreigners are staying here for a short period of time and uh, foreigners that have immigrated here and uh, are trying to make a new life in Sweden. So it's very common. Okay, so what do you find interesting from international colleagues? Uh, not only interesting, it's oh. great fun as well. Uh, I mean, I'm totally in for learning about other cultures and meeting people from all over the place. Uh, but it is also necessi necessary for us because our customers are multinational companies and um, we do have many assignments where we actually need the competence from a different culture. Uh, for instance, I have one of my consultancies from China is doing now some infotainment things for one of our customers and he's the only one who can do it because the entertainment things are in Chinese. Okay. And uh, once we had a high-speed train integration assignment and it was in the uh, Middle East and one of our consultants is fluent in Arabic. So uh, many times it's uh, also a necessity not to forget the fun and interesting part. Okay, so do you think that uh, for any engineers that were regarded in Sweden? Yes, I believe so. Um, I think that you will be met with curiosity. Okay. Uh, Swedes are very curious about the world around them and other cultures in general. And um, you will uh, be met with respect uh, because you have other experiences and knowledge that Swedes doesn't have. And it, it tends to be like that Swedish things, that are doing things in a non-Swedish way, non-typical Swedish way, is a good thing. It's not that shy and not that stiff. Um, so yes, I think that you will be highly regarded uh, when you come here. Of course, um, most of us isn't that well uh, in English and maybe a little bit shy as in, in our nature. Uh, everyone says that Swedes are shy. Uh, it might not feel like you are that much welcome because the shyness of a Swede and the difficulties with the English, even if we think we speak very well, we don't. Uh, we understand very well, but it's a bit of a threshold to start interacting and start using your English with a foreign colleague. Um, so maybe you feel like that your Swedish colleague will be somewhat distant to you. But probably it's just typical Swedish way to take a long time before getting to know you better. And, and the language barrier is as well, of course. But I think in the end, yes, uh, colleagues from other countries are highly regarded in here in Sweden. Okay, that's really good to hear. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you very much. Thank you very Bye. much. Okay, bye.